What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about some pretty big news that just came out recently. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, the community manager for Void Interactive has actually left the studio. And this kind of came as a bit of a surprise to me, just because of the way that it happened. So before I really get into why I think this is odd, I want to actually put out what FAQ said before I decide to get into like conspiratorial territory. So let's read his statement first. It says here, Hello everyone, now that the beans have been spilled and questions are being asked, I decided to resign from my position as community and social media manager for Ready or Not at the end of September for entirely personal, real life, real world reasons unrelated to the game and the team. I've had an absolute blast being a part of the project officially throughout this past year and every single person over at Void has been a joy to work with and I'm beyond confident they will deliver a really, really good game that will blow everyone away. I'm looking forward to seeing it flourish and I wish them the very best as they continue to journey down the sometimes grand, sometimes rocky road developing and launching a game can be. As some may have already found out, one of the reasons as to why I'm leaving is that I want to begin chasing after a lifelong dream of mine, full time, that dream being becoming an author. If anyone wants to keep tabs on me and my work in the future, bit of a shameless plug here, you can do so over at, and then I'll post the link in the description of the website if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, let's move on here. Now, it's not like I'll disappear and you'll never see me again. I'll stick around with the community to continue to eagerly follow the game's development alongside you guys, as I have since the very first teaser trailer back in 2017. And if anyone wants to chat about other stuff, feel free to hit me up via Discord or Reddit anytime. However, I'll probably be taking a break from most socials shortly after I post this announcement. I know there has also been some questions regarding a particularly new face on the community. The amazing Shiznit, which we'll talk about her in just a second, will be helping out with some community related things such as today's event for some time. She's really cool and I'm counting on that everyone will give her a warm welcome. Huge thank you all for the support you guys have given to me and the game across these past 12 months. And I know this isn't goodbye, but rather see her around. Bear hug FAQ. Okay, so this obviously doesn't look good okay because once again void has lost another person that was well connected with the community for those of you that don't know there was a guy before him named easy street who was one of the mod developers for swap 4 you know to make it better he was on this team helping with the developers as a contractor i think it was if i'm not mistaken he was working on the ui which in my opinion has kind of faltered ever since he left but yeah and he leaves and then faq now leaves so it just doesn't look good okay but yeah i knew that every since the whole Carcosa thing was happening, which if you don't know, FAQ was someone that was well documenting everything that was happening during Carcosa. And if you don't know what Carcosa is, then it's basically an ARG, a story being told outside of the media that's being shown, only seen by those who are willing to take a closer look. I have like a bit of a series going on. If you click on the eye icon, you can watch that so you get the gist of where we're at, pretty much. Like he documented every single thing that we found, and then he went and he documented every single theory that was out there. Like, you know, the FAQ that's featured on on Void Interactive's website and the one that's also featured on the Reddit, that was all done by FAQ. Back in the day when the developers used to actually answer questions on the Reddit, FAQ would take those questions and answers and put them in the FAQ. So I'm just trying to emphasize how big of a community person this guy is, okay? Like this guy was hardcore into Ready or Not. This dude would literally stay up writing about a bunch of stuff about Carcosa and all that. But yeah, it was basically during that time where I heard that he was going to try and write his own book. And also I think he said that he wanted to do like some sort of ARG of his own. Could be wrong though, I don't really recall, but I do know that he wanted to do a book at some point. So I knew that that was going on, but what I didn't know was going on is what the heck happened. So there we are, okay. We're sitting in a Discord chat, and then all of a sudden, this person comes into the chat named Shiznit. It's like, I've never seen this person before. I'm still trying to figure out what the criteria is to even become a mod. According to her Steam account, she like never really played Ready or Not until like about a week ago. And she's not even in like the main Discord, the non-NDA Discord. So already a bunch of red flags but you know i obviously didn't want to you know talk about it because this person seemed like a nice person you know she seemed to be more interested in among us than actual ready or not at the time that i talked with her so i obviously didn't want to seem like an asshole you know because I, I didn't think anything of it i was a little skeptical because i'm not sure how the hell you even become mod to begin with especially when it doesn't even seem like she had any experience with ready or not to begin with but you know it's whatever i voiced my concerns and i just kind of moved on from there but then a day before she goes and she's now running 
the multiplayer events, which raised a lot of eyebrows. It's like, wait a minute, isn't that FAQ's thing? Because the person who always does these events is FAQ. And FAQ, for those of you that don't know, has been with the community for freaking ever at this point, like longer than I have. Like he's the one that actually created uh, the FAQ that's feature on, featured on their website that answers a shit ton of questions that you want to know about the game. So it just, it's just really odd, you know? We lose Easy Street and now we lose FAQ. Maybe it's all just a coincidence, but it just really feels like they're running away from the community that built them. Now, I want to believe the story that FAQ put out, but I'm just, I don't know, given recent events and the events that we've seen in the past, it just doesn't sit right with me, you know? So this week, it doesn't seem like we're actually going to get a newsletter, but instead we're going to get a sad news that FAQ is now leaving Void Interactive, which is such a shame in my opinion, but you know, it's just how things go, I guess. It was like the only one that I really respected at this point, but yeah. So what are your thoughts? This is an interesting turn of events indeed. I was definitely not expecting FAQ to just up and leave like that, especially in the way that he did. Like, I would have thought that they would have actually, you know, said something or brought somebody in from the community that's already here. Because I've never seen this Shiznit person before until about a week ago. But nevertheless, uh, good luck with whatever you're going to do, FAQ. Hopefully I'll see you in the game sometime soon. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to end the video. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just head two bucks a month. That's all I really need. Your donations to the channel will really help keep it alive. And uh, with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.